Microsoft insists that by enabling multi-factor authentication on your Microsoft 365, you can reduce the chances of a hack by 99.9%. I think it's worth doing. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how. But before we start, a quick introduction. My name is Jonathan Edwards, and I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. I've got an IT company, Integral IT, and we help businesses with their IT support and the cyber security. Getting your email hacked isn't great for business. Hackers can use your email to send dodgy links to your contacts, or worse still, they can just sit in your email waiting for the right time to maybe amend some invoice details to try and steal money from you or your customers. And when this happens, it really affects your business reputation. But by simply enabling multi-factor authentication on your Microsoft 365 account, you can all but eliminate this from happening. Plus, MFA on Microsoft 365 is free to do, so it's definitely worth doing. Now, before I show you how to do it, let's have a little recap about what MFA actually is. Now, MFA stands for multi-factor authentication. It's also known as 2FA, which stands for two-factor authentication. When we log in to a cloud application like Microsoft 365, we enter a username and a password. Now, if someone has that username and password, they can also log in to our Microsoft 365. Let me just show you on here. So if I browse the Microsoft 365 login page, which is available anywhere in the world, as long as you've got an internet connection, I can simply log in. So this little guy I've created is called Mickey Multifactor at my business here. So obviously this isn't a real person. That's the username and we click on next. It then asks us for a password. I put that password in and I click on sign in. Now I'm straight into my Microsoft 365 account. This username, which is Mickey Multifactor, hasn't got 2FA enabled. So just by using the password, I've been able to log in. But if you had 2FA enabled on your Microsoft 365, you'd need your username, your password, but then you'd need another form of authentication. That's the second factor. That second factor could be a text message sent to your phone with a six digit pin. It could be a phone call with an automated message to your phone, also with a six digit pin. Or you could have an app installed on your phone, which generates another six digit pin every 60 seconds. Now we recommend that everybody has the free Microsoft Authenticator app installed on the phone to act as a second level of authentication. So without further ado, let me show you how to configure that. So the first thing to do is go to the App Store on your smartphone and search for Microsoft Authenticator. Once you've found that, if you just download it and install it onto your phone, ready to enable the 2FA. The next bit involves you going into the Microsoft 365 admin page. Now, if you work for a business, you might not have access to this. So you need to get your IT department or your IT support company to do this bit for you. So once you're in the Microsoft 365 admin page, you need to go to users and then active users. Along the top here, you'll see it says multi-factor authentication. So you click on there. Then you need to find the user in question. So this is Mickey Multifactor. And you can see here it says multi-factor authentication status is disabled. So we highlight Mickey Multifactor and we just go here to enable. And then we click on enable multi-factor authentication. Now that is Mickey Multifactor enabled for multi-factor authentication. But there's something else you now need to do as a user. We've enabled it at the back end, but now you need to go to the Microsoft 365 login page, which I will show you here. And you log in with your username and password. So I'm just going to copy these in here. Now, if you remember when we logged in last time, once we entered our username and password, it logged us straight in. Let's just see what happens here once we enter the password. Now, because we've enabled it in the back end of Microsoft 365, it's asking us to enable multi-factor authentication. So it's saying your organization needs more information to keep your account secure. So let's click on next. Okay, it's asking us 
what type of two-factor authentication that we need. We can see on the drop-down a phone call, an office phone or a mobile app. We're going to click on mobile app. So we want to receive notifications for verification and we click on set up. Now you can see on the screen it's showing a QR code. So the next thing you do is you go to your phone and you open the Microsoft Authenticator app. And the first thing it'll say is add account. So we click on add account. And then the next bit we click on is work or school account. And then you'll get a little prompt saying scan QR code. So we click on there. And all we simply do now is point your phone at the computer screen and it'll scan the QR code. Just wait a couple of seconds. And then it'll list it in your Authenticator app. So you click on your email address. And straight away, what you'll see in there is a one-time password and a little dialog next to it counting down. So that's going to change every so often. So back onto your screen, you click on Next. And then you click on Next again. And now it's saying, please respond to the notification on your device. And it'll say on your device, do you approve this sign-on? So you click on Approve. And it says, successful. Now the next bit is, in case you lose access to your app, do you want a little backup? So yes, we do. So in this case, I'm going to type in my mobile number. So as a backup, if I lose access to my app, for whatever reason, I want it to send me a text message. So what will happen now is if I lose access to my app, I'll get a text message sent to my mobile phone as a backup. So now we just simply click on finished. Now what we'll do here, we'll click on no and I'll just take it now. So multi-factor authentication is now enabled. So let's just close this page and I'll show you it from the very beginning. So now that Mickey multi-factor has it enabled, he simply goes here. He enters his username because now we've set it up. He'll enter his password. And now my authenticator has popped up saying, do you approve this sign on? And yes, we do. And then it signs us on automatically. So that is how you enable multi-factor authentication on your Microsoft 365 account. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon.